Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these two green circles inscribed in between the semicircle and this vertical line CM as you can see in this diagram and moreover the radius for this small green circle is two units whereas the radius for this uh, larger green circle is uh, three units and just keep in your mind that these two green circles are not tangent to each other and now we are going to calculate the radius of this uh, semi-circle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to look at. Let's look at these centers. This O is the center for this semicircle, whereas these P and Q are the centers for these green circles. And here's our next step. We have drawn these two auxiliary lines O, N and O, T as you can see in this uh, diagram where these N and T are the points of tangency and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the centers and the point of uh, tangency are collinear so therefore these centers O and P and this point of tangency N they are going to lie on the very same line and likewise this center O, this center Q and this point of tangency T are going to lie on the very same line as well. And now let's assume the radius of this uh, semicircle is lowercase uh, r. That means this uh, radius uh, OT is going to be lowercase r and likewise this uh, O N is going to be lowercase r as well and now we know that this uh, n p is the radius uh, for this uh, smaller green circle and that is uh, two units so therefore uh, this uh, distance uh, o p is going to be simply r minus 2 so that is going to give us uh, r minus 2 so therefore our op length is going to be r minus 2 as you can see and now let's focus on this other green circle we know its radius is 3 units so therefore this length oq is going to be r minus 3 so this is going to be r minus 3 so therefore our distance oq is going to be r minus 3 as you can see over here and here's our next step we have connected this center p with this uh, point of tangency a and likewise we connected this center q with this point of tangency b as well and now let's recall this uh, circle theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram so no wonder this angle is going to be 90 degrees and likewise this angle is going to be 90 degrees as well and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, obq now we can see that this uh, bq is the radius of this green circle so this is three units and now let's assume that this distance ob is x units now we know that this obq is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as a side c i'm going to call this side a and this side b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this pythagorean formula a in our case is x so this is going to become x square plus b is 3 so it's going to be a 3 square equal to r minus 3 whole square so let's go ahead and simplify x square plus 3 square is 9 equals to and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square we are going to apply it on the right hand side so this is going to give us uh, r square minus uh, 
six r plus nine. And now we can see this nine on the left hand side and nine on the right hand side. They are gone. So we simply ended up with x square equal to r square minus six r. And now let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore we got x equal to square root of r square minus 6r. So thus our this x value turns out to be square root of r square minus 6r. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this other right triangle OAP. We know that this uh, AP is the radius of this uh, smaller green circle and that is two units. And now we can see that this uh, distance uh, is the radius uh, for this uh, smaller green circle. So that is going to be two units. And likewise, uh, this uh, distance uh, is the radius for this uh, another green circle. So this is going to be three units. And now let's recall this circle theorem once again. The angle between the radius and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. And in our case we can see that uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees and this angle is going to be 90 degrees as well. So therefore this side length is going to be equal to this side length. If this is 2, this has got to be 2 as well. Likewise, this side length is going to be equal to this side length. If this side length is 3, then this side length MB is going to be 3 units as well. So therefore, we can see that this whole distance between A and B is going to be 2 plus 3 is going to be 5 units. So therefore this distance uh, AO is going to be 5 minus uh, this distance uh, X. So therefore the distance uh, AO is going to be 5 minus X. And since we are dealing with this uh, right uh, triangle, so therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 5 minus x whole square plus b in our case is 2 square and c in our case is r minus 2 whole square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity once again a minus b whole square. I'm going to apply it on this uh, binomial and this binomial on the right hand side as well. So therefore we're going to have uh, 25 minus uh, 10 x plus uh, x square and then plus 2 square is 4 equal to on the right hand side r square minus 4r plus 4. And now we can see this 4 on the right hand side and the 4 on the left hand side they are gone. Now let me go ahead and move this uh, negative 10x on the right hand side and at the very same time I'm going to move r square and negative 4r on the left hand side as well. As you can see in this uh, next uh, step uh, this uh, r square and negative 4r becomes a negative r square plus 4r and likewise this negative 10x has become a positive 10x on the right hand side. And now we can see that this x square equals to r square minus 6r and likewise this x is equal to square root of r square minus 6r. As you can see in this uh, next step, I replace this uh, x square by this uh, r square minus 6 uh, r. And likewise, I replace this x by square root of uh, r square minus 6 r. And now we can see that this r square and this negative r square, they are gone. So therefore, the left hand side is going to become uh, 25. And if we combine these like terms, that's going to give us a negative uh, 
टू आर इक्वल्स टू टेन टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ आर स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स आर now let's go ahead and take a square on both side on this side and likewise i'm going to take care of square on this side as well and now let's recall this uh, identity once again a minus b whole square we are going to apply it on the left hand side so that is going to give us uh, 625 minus uh, 100 r plus uh, 4 r square and on the right hand side 10 square is going to become 100 times this is going to become r square minus 6r now let's go ahead and distribute 100 with this one as you can see in this next step now let's go ahead and move everything on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step let's go ahead and combine the like terms as you can see in this uh, next step i combined this 100 r square and minus 4 r square that gave us uh, 96 r square and then uh, negative 600 r plus 100 r is going to give us uh, negative 500 r and now we can see that this is our quadratic uh, equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic uh, formula and here is our well known quadratic uh, formula and now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic formula where our a equals to 96 b equals to negative uh, 500 and c equal to negative 625 so let's go ahead and plug it in the value r equal to negative b is a negative 500 plus r minus the square root of negative 500 whole square minus 4 times a is 96 and c is negative 625 all over 2 times a is 96 and now if we simplify all these steps our radius r turns out to be 500 plus or minus 700 divided by 100 and 92 let's go ahead and split these positive and negative signs and here i split three signs one is positive sign and the other one is negative sign so let's simplify this first one that is going to give us r equals to 1200 divided by 192 so if we simplify everything r radius turns out to be 6.25 units now let's simplify this other one that is going to give us a negative 200 divided by 100 and 92 and now we can see that this is a negative number and we know that radius can't be a negative number so therefore this value of r is rejected and we are going to accept this value of r which is 6.25 so thus the radius of this uh, semicircle turns out to be 6.25 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye